we uh, want to show you how to make a DIY lemon bath salt that smells as good as it makes your skin feel. Jennifer Prince from Hill City Bride is here to show us how. So Jennifer, thank you for being here. Yes, I'm glad to be here today. <laughs> and you've got a table full of stuff. Yes, all sorts so, of fun stuff. Yes, and it looks so cute. Uh, how do we get this finished product right, that we exactly. see here, right? Um, you can kind of personalize these with whatever you want, whatever oil, whatever ingredients as far as like little accents. But the base for the bath salts is Epsom salt. Super inexpensive right. at your like drugstore or whatever. And then I got some fancier salts. So um, in this bag here, we have Ooh. some Himalayan salts, uh -huh. and they're up here too. So that's okay. more of like a pink type right. of salt. Okay. And then also so some sea that. mineral salt. So if you ladies want to start making these, yes. sure. um, you can just take about two okay. scoops of the Epsom salts and okay. stick them in there. So there's okay. not really like a... It's not like baking. You literally right. can use, like, <laughs> if you have a ton of Epsom salt and just a little bit of stuff to add, that's fine. I sure. mean, people use Which, Epsom salt by gosh, itself Gosh, that all makes the me time. nervous, but this seems <laughs> oh, simple it's enough. Yeah. When it comes to baking, I'm perfect <laughs> measuring everything. <laughs> all right, and then if you want to take some of the Himalayan salt. Okay. Um, and then also I have calendula, I think is how you say it. And this Ooh, is, yes. for the lemon bath salts, it just makes it a nice little yellow color, um, which is just kind of fun. They're basically just smell? flower I, petals. Kind of a little bit of a smell. So it's very similar in baking, like you want to have the color of exactly. what yes. is yeah. inside. Right. So you have an idea of, okay, yes, I yeah. am smelling lemon. Okay, Well, gotcha. yes, and then also um, you can add some lemon essential oil in there. Uh -huh. Okay. That'll really give you a nice oh, yeah. scent too. Now we're getting okay. the smells. Yeah. And then I hate zesting anything, but Ooh, if you're right. even more adventurous, you can just kind of <laughs> add some lemon zest in there. I can never get these things to like work properly. Yeah, but it's really hard. It is. You've really got to dig. Oh wait, there's a little bit of lemon yes. zest too. So if you want to do that, but then all you have to do is mm -hmm. um, you can put them in here. Like these are for favors for like a baby shower, bridal That's shower. A great idea. Even if you have a party, mm -hmm. um, you could give these to your guests, and then yes. they can just take a tablespoon and throw it into a foot bath. I would probably suggest maybe two to four tablespoons if you're actually taking a full bath. Okay. Yeah. But the purpose is just relaxation, softening your skin. Mm -hmm. You know, winter, cold weather is coming. Oh, yeah. We you all can need to make it. You can always use something like yeah, this. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah. And <laughs> top it off with a bow and yeah. as a gift. There you go. This is a great, great little gift there to leave um, at a party. Right. Thank you, yeah. Jennifer. Yeah. Thank you for having me. We appreciate it.